Metallica redefined the sound ideal of their genre when they released their Black Album in 1991. Here's how you can recreate their iconic drum sound today. There's no doubt that Metallica's drummer Lars Ulrich is one of the most style-defining drummers of all time. Even though he might not be the most technically advanced drummer of his generation, his part in Metallica's songwriting, as well as his grooves and fills, influenced countless musicians and bands until today. Rumors say Metallica spent over $1 million on the production of their album Metallica, also known as a Black Album. Let's have a short listen to the original sound of this recording. This song is one of their most iconic hits ever, Enter Sandman. What really stands out is the very recognizable crystal clear drum sound. All drums feature a nice and very present attack with a short tone. The bright cymbals also help the drums to cut through the mix and be present even though the guitars are very dominant in the arrangement. To achieve a similar sound, we went for a drum kit which has a lot of natural attack on its own. The Yamaha Rock Tour Drum Kit. We decided to go with a bronze snare, just like Lars Ulrich on the original recording. In this case, we used a Tama 55 by 14 SLP Dynamic Bronze model that features a great attack due to the die-cast hoops. The Remo controlled sound drumhead helps control the overtones and gives some extra durability for a rock drummer's hard hits. To shorten the drum even more, we used one of Snare White's muffling tools and added a bit of tape. No matter if live or in the studio, you can see that Ulrich's snare drum is always fitted with two top microphones. We copied this technique and added a small diaphragm condenser mic in order to get the high frequency attack we were looking for. When it comes to toms, we went with pre and clear pinstripe heads as batter and double ply clear emperor drum heads as bottom heads. Clear drum heads feature more attack than coated ones, which is exactly what we want. The drum head choice and a bit of tape muffling helped us to achieve the right tone length and amount of overtones. To capture the tom sound, we used bass drum mics. These usually have a pre-shaped frequency response that features lots of high frequency attack and a fat low end. We fitted the 22-inch bass drum with a pinstripe ebony drum head. Even though Lars Ulrich used a clear pinstripe in the original recording session, the ebony version of this classic drum head enhances the bass drum's attack straight away. With some muffling inside the kick drum and by using a plastic beater on the pedal, we achieved the characteristic sound we were looking for. Brilliant A custom cymbals were great for this sound. The 14-inch hi-hat, 20-inch ride, and 16- and 18-inch crashes feature lots of high frequencies that help the drums to cut through the mix. An 18-inch K-Custom Special Dry Trash China completes our setup. To get a very direct sound, we close mic all the cymbals individually and place two room mics in front of the kit to capture the whole drum set. Have a listen to what the setup sounds like. Let's add the music.
miking and mixing are a huge part of this highly produced drum sound, you can get really close just by choosing the right drum heads, shells and cymbals. Let us know what you think about our Enter Sandman kit in the comments and have fun recreating this iconic sound yourself.